What is a loan shark? How do you spot one and how do you completely avoid them altogether? And so you can get the best funding for your specific needs at the moment in the future and get what you finally deserve. Hi, my name is Michael from Viral Funding Solutions. And in this video, I'm gonna go through what a loan shark is, what are predatory versus non-predatory loans, and the misconceptions you and many people have when it comes to getting a business loan and so much more. But before I get started, if this is the first time you're watching me, I do come out with content like this on alternative lending, all small business loans, cash advances, business credit, helping your business improve overall and for you to take uh, advantage of many opportunities online as well. So if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so and click that bell notification icon so you don't miss any future videos I come out with. We're looking at an article from Nerd Wallet. I'm going to give credit to. And I wanted to show you this on screen so you have a better understanding. And I'm going to go through some points as well aside from this because I get it when people come to me and they say, hey, what can I qualify for? Or how much funding can I get? They, you usually have an idea how much you need, but sometimes you don't. And so we go through this whole conversation in a text and a DM um, and an email, maybe it's a phone call. And you're under the wrong impression. You feel like this is some type of a loan shark situation because you're getting charged too high of an interest rate. You are getting terms that are less than worthy of what you quote unquote, feel you deserve, but you have to put yourself in the shoes of myself, the underwriters and the lenders. And you really have to get to understand why you're getting off of the terms you're getting um, and why you're getting the type of rates, the type of a payback amount, the ex right, the whole expected time frame, the amount you're getting and so forth. So it's less about emotionally being attached and it's more about the logic and the numbers. So we're gonna go through that a little bit later, but a loan shark, these are illegal lenders who are not authorized or regulated. Now that sentence alone just kind of summarizes everything. So illegal lending is taking place and these people are not authorized to do this and it's not regulated as well. So, well, if I've helped you get funding in the past with specific companies that have done reviews for on this channel, they are legitimate with legitimate lenders who are not hiding anything, no hidden fees. They're not trying to do some kind of a predatory scam or anything like that. You may feel that way because when you go through the application process and you get some type of an offer, if you've been there or you've heard of these things, the thing is, you are getting something that is worth in the context of what your business is currently doing and what it can be projecting in the future, depending on the type of the service you get. So they may charge high interest rates and use threats and intimidation towards anyone who borrows from them. They may charge high interest rates. Now, that's a given that in this industry, there will be higher interest rates. But now there's windows and buckets, there are too high of an interest rates, like 300 to 400%. And then we calculate, um, you know, we're calculating like APRs and we're calculating like factor rates and types of diff different types of interest rates, depending on the service that I won't get too specific in this video. Um, I'll, I'll get into it in a little bit, like with another example, but what you have to understand is that you're getting a medium, the high interest rate a lot of the time. And it's because of you are a very high risk person to give money to. It's not always, yes, you you might have the time in business for years on it and you might have the revenue where you're doing like 60K per month. Uh, you know, you may have some dips, you may have some increases. It might just be at 60K and stable. Um, so you're doing well annually, right? Um, your credit score might be great or it might be just below good. It's just above average. And you're wondering why you're getting these higher rates. At the end of the day, even if we're factoring like if specific services, we, we do the three types of quadrants. We do the three different types of categories. They're um, cash flow, collateral, and credit. So it's usually one of those three categories and the products that you go for, but there's some that require all three. And so if we're looking at cash flow, we value your revenue more than anything else, but we'll still factor in what your FICO or your credit score is, the time in business, any delinquencies, bankruptcies, um, non-sufficient funds, negative days in the account, overdrafts, right? And so much more. I've only just touched on a few, but those are the very important ones. And if you don't meet those criterias, 
Why do you believe you're getting the higher interest rates? Or why do you think you're getting a higher payback? Don't come to me or to somebody and tell them, oh, I feel like, you know, I've been in business for this long. Is there an alternative solution? We may tell you there is, but you'll be getting charged higher or there's not going to be anything else out there. And you'll get the same thing more or less if you go elsewhere. And the reason you're getting those types of rates, medium to high, we're not talking about too high, like these loan sharks will tend to do is give you even a higher, right? We have medium to high and even in high can be in some cases. But the reason you're getting that is the evaluation of your business, the strength, your credit history, any type of a background check that comes up, what happened, you know, what's the history like? So if you feel, it's not always about what you feel. And I get you want to feel safe and secure that you're getting something, but we're evaluating this on logic, which is your business as well. So I've had people who've come to me and I've been in a conversation with them and, you know, I tell them how it works and I say, um, depending on the type of product, we do daily sometimes slash weekly. And they don't want that. They're like, oh, I want a monthly payment that's not going to be high in interest rates. Or I'll take a monthly payment, but so it'll be a higher interest rate. I can do that. But for the most part, you want a monthly lower interest rates. Outside of the SBA, outside of going to a bank, it's not always the case. That's why you're hearing alternative lending. All right. Got to take the good with the bad sometimes. And the, it's not normally bad. And what I tell people is these aren't predatory. Like predatory, aside from loan sharks, predatory kind, kind of like, hey, we expect you to pay a higher interest rate and we're going to give you um, daily slash weekly and we expect you to pay it back in like three months. Now that may be but it isn't completely a predatory thing. It is very predatory if we give you too high of an interest rate than what you should be actually getting. We don't give you the terms that you should be getting. We give you, there's hidden fees and costs to all that. Now that might be more of a loan shark slash predatory solution or a situation, but it's not predatory if we're giving you the right evaluation. If we're you're saying you're doing 50K, 60K per month, you have like five years in business, you have a 700 plus FICO credit score, for example, then we may be able to get you up to 18 to 24 months, maybe sometimes even more. But if you don't meet these A, B, C, D type of paper lending client buckets, which all of us look at, the lenders, the underwriters, myself, we all look at what category do you fit in? What is the industry? What is your situation like? Uh, what has been the history and experience in this industry? Uh, what is the credits? What is the revenue? Time in business? And if you have, for example, like a sixty thousand from like fifty k plus, you have a seven hundred plus FICO. Generally, is what we like to see. And you have like two plus years in business, twenty four plus months. And we may be able to push you into that one to two x of your month. But you can get even up to like if you're doing fifty, we can probably get you close to that one hundred thousand, if not the full one hundred k. But there are levels to this. It's not predatory unless, again, it is illegal and it is some type of a quote-unquote scam, which I don't talk about any of that. Um, but just to pause very quickly, if you haven't picked up this free six-step pre-approval lending checklist that'll show you step-by-step -step what to expect before you walk into an application, you know with 110% confidence and certainty that you will be approved without wasting time. We're talking about days, weeks, months, and even years. Even if having to go through all that headache and physical pain that I'm sure you are aware, aware, aware of if you've been denied by the banks, you can't reach deeper into your savings and you can't turn to your friends and family for help anymore. This will show you how to get through all that safe and securely, again, without wasting that time. So look for that down below in the description if you haven't picked it up already. Now let's continue with this article. What's inside? Why are, there, why are loan sharks dangerous? How to spot a loan shark? What if I borrowed money from a loan shark? So loan sharks are individuals or organizations that lend money illegally without having the proper authorization, as I said. Stop Loan Sharks estimates that 310,000 people are in debt to illegal money lenders in the UK. And so we go down here. Why are they dangerous? They're not regulated, which means they will operate illegally. Unlike authorized lenders, loan sharks may not feel obligated to meet any of the industry standards set by the FCA, which puts anyone who borrows from them at risk. So predatory versus loan sharks can kind of be intertwined, but they are separate. So predatory, somebody may feel like, 
oh, well, I want it in monthly term, but you were telling me I can get only a daily, sometimes weekly if I make my way there. Listen, if I made a video on this that I'll link to down below about daily versus weekly and monthly, bi-weekly payments. So make sure you watch that if you have, and that'll clear everything you need to know. But if you feel like you need to get a monthly payment, but you don't qualify for those types of like business term loans because of what type of risk and what type of credentials are going on in your business, then yes, you may have to get a revenue based slash MCA. Not a, not, you don't always have to get a traditional merchant cash advance. It can be a hybrid, which I'll show you uh, a little bit later. But what happens is you got to work your way. You've never gone funding before. So you take it. And you may be giving a very reasonable amount of time frame to pay it back. The terms, again, assessing what type of bucket you fall in, A, B, C, D, paper lending clients. You have like 625 plus FICO with 20,000 plus per month, but you have less than a year or up to a year in business. Then we might not give you the best rates or the best whatever terms they, they're going to be. We might ask you for a little bit more of a payback. It's because it's higher risk. You don't have the time in business. You don't have the whole proof. Okay, so some loan sharks may also be involved in other criminal activities. How to spot a loan shark. You can see if an author, a lender is authorized to lend money by checking the financial services register or the Loan Smart website, um, as well as checking that the lender is authorized by the FCA. Below are some of the warning signs that could indicate some of them. You were offered a cash loan. Loan sharks traditionally deal in cash, but be aware that they may operate online too. A lack of paperwork. All illegal lenders will provide you with the necessary paperwork a lack of clear information about the loan, lending with no checks, taking any of your possessions as security, threatening and violent behavior, your loan never gets paid off if someone you recently met offers to lend you money. Okay, so there's more information. What if I borrow from a loan shark, what to do? I'll leave some information on this down below if you've been a victim of it. But you got to see how you can spot one. And you may be thinking, isn't this what a cash advance is, a merchant cash advance is? No. We're not loan sharking. We're not doing any kind of illegal activity, unless it is with a company that may be operating that way. There have been companies in the merchant cash advance space, um, not any that I deal with, that have been caught to be doing shady activities. And I don't endorse any of that, and I don't follow, I don't want to be a part of any of it. So I want to make sure I help you get the right type of funding available which by the way, there'll be more options of all that down below if you wanna learn about all the different ones, all the different services. Uh, but one of, my recommended, one of my number one recommended places to go to is with David Allen Capital Link. This is where you can get up to 2 million in incredibly fast funding, excuse me, within one to two days of approval, within one to two days of getting your uh, funds deposited into your account as much as a week, depending on your file and what we're looking through and how much extensive work we have to look at. Um, you can even get up to 25,000, same day instance approval with their Bank Breezy product. And again, these videos will be down below in the description so you can learn more about them. Likely you have gone through them um, and they're a great service to go through and they don't operate like a traditional merchant cash advance. We don't, uh, we've partnered with one of the leading merchant cash advance uh, lenders and providers, but we don't operate as a, a traditional, we're a hybrid. We don't take credit card transactions. We don't look at that information. We don't, um, if you have a low month, we take a little bit, uh, we, took, we take less out daily. And if you make more in sales, we take more out daily. We don't do any of that. It doesn't fluctuate. So you know what you're getting. And yes, these are daily, sometimes weekly. But like I said, this is how it works. You work your way in from a daily to then weekly. You're in good standing. You pay off the advance earlier. You pay it on time. And you do it over and over. And you see that the lenders are helping you. And they're like, okay, we can offer you a weekly type of payment. We can give you less rates. We'll give you more more flexibility, you're in good standing. That's how you work this. But so many people feel like, well, I, I gotta get a monthly. And if you feel like you need to get a monthly, I'll leave information on that, that, that down below, excuse me. So you can view and see if you even qualify for a business term loan, some type of an SBA loan, et cetera. Cause there are options out there for unsecured business term loans where you don't have to put any kind of collateral in, but you have to make sure you have good, decent credit, you have the right type of revenue, the right type in business, and it can be high. And if you don't have, let's say you may have the revenue, maybe you're doing 60K per month, you have about 20 years in business, but your credit score is like a 600, it's a 580. You think you're gonna get approved for a business term loan? 
you feel like you should because of the revenue, because of the time in business, but it doesn't work that way. And even if you had, like I made in the other video, even if you had the right credentials and the right credit score with everything else lined up, it's not always best to get a business term loan because you still will get medium to high interest rates, kind of like what you see in a merchant cash advance, but you don't always need the funding for that. And I'll cover that in the other video again, but we just went over what it means to have a, what it is to be like a loan shark. And let me see if I can find this other one that I wanted to check out. It's this one. And then we'll conclude here. So we've covered already what a loan shark is. And here's a very important article by Payroll Finance. I wanted to bring this up because it starts off well. Like many businesses, small businesses like yours have been struggling through this epidemic times and through all the uncertainty. You don't know if you're going to have your even business going to be open up at the end of the month, even the, today, even tomorrow. You have to work at it day by day and you need these emergency funds. So that's the type of mindset you're coming in from is like, I need the money to for emergency funds, for certain cash flow, to save my butt, to get through payroll because I'm just struggling to get uh, through and I just need some kind of funding. And you're blaming these cash advance industries. You're blaming, uh, you can blame the loan sharks. Like I said, loan sharks and uh, these kind of predatory, they, they kind of intertwine, but they're not exactly. So you categorize it as a uh, predatory loan or a cash advance because you're in the situation where you're like, I need to, I need to help you. I need you to help me uh, survive. I need you to help me get out of this thing that I'm out and that I'm in. And the thing is, it comes to like, hey, does the benefit exceed the repayment? And in those cases, it doesn't. A lot of the time, it's like, you're just trying to make it afloat. You want to be where you once were. And you're like, well, I, you're telling me I got to pay back a 1.4 total payback. Are you telling me I got to pay back 10 to 20,000 back? Oh, no. Like, oh. And so that's where you get hesitant because you are just trying to stay afloat. So I would never recommend you to take the funding and take on that kind of debt. Okay. So that doesn't make sense. But for somebody who's in growth and expansion mode, it makes more. But at the same time, they're not even clear because like I said earlier, I've been dealing with people who are in that growth and expansion. They do well in revenue. They have the time in business. Uh, their credit score may be not as well. It may be great. But the problem is, that they don't have work, the right organization in their business, the fundamentals maybe, something in the middle is off, something at the top, the pyramid, right? You think of it like a pyramid. It's all got to be in shape. And the whole structure of it, you know, the whole budgeting, the way um, they're trying to safeguard their cash flow in their business, how they're doing in revenue, uh, have there been dips? There's so many things to consider. But a lot of these times, if you're one of these people, Who's having difficulties you'll always call these predatory loans because you're under that impression that oh well you're expecting me to do a daily slash weekly but i wanted a monthly but you may may not qualify it's not worth it and you're expecting me to pay it back in four to six months uh, maybe four to 24 months and we'll always give you something that you deserve if you deserve closer to 18 months closer to 24 months maybe even more we can give you that option but you deserve it here you don't always get what you feel like you need to get Right, we take away the emotional aspect. You have to put yourself in our shoes again. So, if you're one of these businesses who is currently struggling, then it'll always feel "quote unquote" predatory. And again, even if I, even if you're in the growth and expansion mode, right? I don't see the inside of your business. But if I did, and you, okay, and you were that person who said, "Well, I don't want to take on a daily, weekly." But if I got to understand the business better, I would know why you're feeling the way you do. You may be still doing well in revenue, but there are flaws in your business. It's probably something seasonal that happens where you don't stay afloat. And we all get that. So you don't always have to take a lump sum of working capital. There are options out there for this, like a business line of credit. So if you only want to withdraw whenever you need the money, you can do that and only pay interest on it. I won't say that the interest rates are going to be the lowest, but that may help you more. So if you want to learn about business lines of credit, look down below in the description. The definition of loan sharks, just what it talks about, what defines a loan shark. Uh, loan sharks are professionals who offer loans with extremely high interest rates, which can sometimes reach 300% to 400% APR. In addition to these high interest rates, they, take, they, tack, they tack on a lot of fees. Many of them are hidden, such as underwriting fees. They also deceive the client of the true cost of the loan. For example, 
uh, they will tell you a little rate and then you will find out the rate was for a short amount of time and the yearly interest is astron astronomical. Um, if you fail to repay your loan at, on time, there will be even more fees which threatens the long-term financial health of your business. Loan sharks suck money from their clients and enforce their fees aggressively or force you to take another loan to repay the money you owe. They are relentless, aggressive in nature, unrelenting and unforgiving, especially when it comes to default or missed payments. But not every high interest rate loan is a predatory loan. As I just mentioned, we have med medium to high interest rates. It depends on the type of a service and depends on your type of qualifications. As I mentioned, A, B, C, D, even more E paper clients. If you fall within those buckets, we have a set criteria and our lenders also look into the underwriters, myself too. What industry are you in? What kind of risk can we take on you? What has been the experience with that? There are situations where a high interest rate loan can be the best thing you can do for your business. Many lenders offer high risk loans with a quick application and approval process. All the fees are open and upfront and everything is explained clearly and done professionally. The rates will be higher than traditional sources due to the higher level risk that lenders are taking, but nowhere near the 300% loan sharks charge. These loans are meant to be repaid in a relatively short amount of time. In this way, the business can continue to function during a growth spurt or temporary cash shortage or hardship or until you obtain a traditional loan. These loans help businesses in the short term to avoid many long-term schemes that will cripple your business. Okay, that's everything that I wanted really to cover in this article. So and there's more information on how to find out if they're loan sharks and what to do to avoid them. So really what to do to avoid them, find the right service, be under the right impression and underneath the right education. Now that you know, like, oh, I know the difference now what a loan shark is what it versus what maybe a quote unquote predatory versus non-predatory loan looks like. And we just covered it. Like loan sharks, illegal use, um, they don't have certain restrictions, although, you know, in the alternative lending, there may not be as many or any restrictions as you see through traditional banking, but they have a criteria that goes too far and beyond that you don't want to deal with. And super high interest rates, which you saw with the APRs being extremely high versus, um, and you still think, you might still think a predatory loan is still a medium to high interest rate when it really isn't. And like I told and I've said this to many people, is it's subjective on you as a person, you and your business, uh, your organization and your structure and you know a lot that goes in with, into that. So hopefully you have now a better understanding of what loan sharks are, how to avoid, uh, how to spot them, how to avoid them. You avoid them by finding the right services, one of these being David Allen Capital Link. And you have a better understanding of like, look, if you can't get a monthly payment, then a daily slash weekly is okay. Now, are you in that growth and expansion mode? Are you just trying to recover and get some emergency funds? If you're in the emergency fund space in your business, like if we look at revenue and we see some dips certain days, certain months, we look at the cash flow, we look at the, the checks or credit card sales and all these things into your account when we look like the bank statements, for example, then it may be best to do a business line of credit or a different option. But a lump sum of capital is a great way to inject it into your business. It can continue to build, grow, expand, and even get out of that tight pinch. So David Allen Capital, all of their information will be down below in the descri description. Make sure to check them out. It is going to be very well worth your time. And check out the content on the daily, weekly, bi-weekly, and monthly video. Likely you've seen it already, but I discuss in there like why you're not getting a monthly loan versus why you're getting a daily slash weekly and why the benefits of that are much greater and going with the monthly route, if you even did qualify, if you didn't still, and what to look out for and all these misconceptions and misunderstandings, I hope they have all been cleared up. And if there's something that I miss, please let me know in the comment section, get a hold of me, look in the description for all my content, pick up the free six step pre-approval lending checklist, get your application in if you haven't already. And if you've been through Bank Breezy and the David Allen Capital up to 2 million, continue to move forward. I'm gonna be here every step of the way with you. If you ever have any questions about it, let me know, but we do the best. The underwriters, everybody can communicate this with you and we can give you the right reasoning why you're getting what you're getting. And if you expect, well, no, if you expect to get something different, but you can't, then you have to be reasonable. And if you feel like you could get something different, let's not waste our time. And either you be upfront with it and say, hey, I'm looking for a monthly loan because a weekly loan I can go get myself and I don't really want to get into that. And you lead into that conversation. I may not even do much or I may say something and it might continue on and be like, hey, 
this is a reason why daily actually is what you are going to want. And this is what's best for you. And this is what you can qualify for. So that is going to conclude everything in this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so and click on the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future videos I can offer.